So if enzymatic activity has ceased below a water activity and moisture content, why is ethylene gas still being released? What's its role in the curing process? What level of ethylene gas in parts per million is beneficial? And what level is detrimental to the product? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea, but that's that's where I think a, a lot of people are looking at to investigate and study. I would say in simple terms, you know, curing is kind of like the difference between like high quality cannabis and just cannabis. Uh, so mm -hmm. for people who are wondering like, well, if I, what if I just like dr dry my product longer and I can sell it faster or whatever it might be, um, you know, curing, I, I guess in the most simple terms, it really helps reduce some of the plant uh, like harshnesses and it results in better, smoother tasting cannabis. Um, I think we've talked about this a lot. Like these days, there's a ton of information and a ton of research and a ton of good white papers and a ton of best practices on kind of how to grow great cannabis. And I would say a lot of people can get to the good cannabis kind of level pretty easily these days. But then time and time again, we see that it gets butchered in drying, curing, and everything that follows it. 